These are uh, sun chokes. You can see the uh, long stems in the summertime. They look like a small sunflower. And you can see the roots grow into uh, these great little tubers, which are really delicious when uh, cooked up, boiled up. They can be cut fresh and put in a salad or uh, boil them up with a little butter and salt. And uh, better than potatoes. They're small, they take a little bit of work, but for something that is literally a weed, I mean, it grows like a weed when you plant sun chokes, wherever you plant them, you better be sure you want them there forever because they're pretty darn persistent. Just one more thing I wanted to show you. I brought the uh, sun chokes in and uh, they're all muddy as you can see. And rather than run all the mud down the drain, what I'm doing here is um, got some lukewarm water. I'm just going to knock off the, uh, the mud, the big stuff. Leave 80% of the uh, mud in the water solution here. And then I'll go ahead and take and um, dump this outside where I want some topsoil. No point in uh, you know bringing topsoil in the house and um, running it down the drain. So here we have a nice freshly rinsed pile of sunchokes. And here's the uh, the initial rinse water. You can see how thick it is. It's mostly mud water. Now that'll go back on my garden. So we have all the uh, sun chokes are all chopped up here. Put a pan on the stove here, put a little bit of olive oil in it, medium heat. And I'll just go ahead and put these in here. And real simply, I'm just going to be cooking these just like you would um, potatoes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just cook these up, soften them up just a little bit. And then I'll uh, go ahead and add some onions to it. A little bit of salt and pepper, and uh, I think we'll have a dinner. You know, I don't see us as humans moving into uh, foragers full time, but from the standpoint of doing simple gardening things, and uh, from the standpoint of uh, coming up with a diversified diet, you know, this is something that takes me all of about four or five minutes to harvest enough for a couple of meals. Pretty nice, huh? And. Uh, for something that takes no work, grows on anything, it's definitely part of the uh, diet of the future. Simple things like this that we can grow in our garden.